Good morning, happy Monday. Let's get ready together as we figure out our 20. Does your family do like Sunday dinners, like a routine thing every single week? Because I think they are the cutest thing ever and that every family should do them. And I love that we have part of the family that does them maybe not every single week, but often enough that I do not plan to have dinner plans on Sundays because I plan to be with the family. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I do feel bad though that it's like the same person cooking and getting the food every single week. And really, I would love to host Sunday dinners, but I cannot cook and my house is just not like the house for that, you know? I feel like we could make it easier on like the one person if we all brought a side dish or something, but then again, I can't cook. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind if it was store-bought though. Do you do a family Sunday dinner and like, is it one person that cooks all the time? Do you actually help each other out? Like, what is your process? But we didn't do family Sunday dinner yesterday, which is the only reason I was able to clean more thoroughly, I guess. Somebody asked me if I clean like that every Sunday. Heck no. Usually it's more like a quick reset. We just absolutely had nothing else to do. And Mason's baseball practice got canceled and he was totally rearranging his room, which was terrifying. I truly do not understand how he was able to move all of his furniture. I mean, like every piece of furniture is moved. That stuff is heavy. Like his bunk bed, I cannot move by myself. I mean, I haven't tried, but I don't think I could. But I remember doing that as a kid and my mom just like let us, she's like, whatever. <laughs> I did ask him if he scratched any of the floors. Of course he said no. And if he did, whatever. If we're being honest, I have scratched the floors, put more holes in you know ripped paint off the walls trying to do things that i just physically cannot but i'm not gonna ask for help but he was incredibly proud of his room and how it looks and loves it so i thought maybe he'd sleep in there but no he said i think i'm just gonna sleep in here on the weekends again whatever <laughs> there's already so many other things where i'm like kind of sad that he doesn't need me anymore but also kind of happy you know so i guess i'll just hold on to that one last thing for a little bit longer but for today our plan is one to see if we can get in for a haircut for mason although i feel like we were just there because he wants his lightning bolts fixed and touched up or whatever how many times have i said whatever today it's just a monday but i did tell him if we're going to fix it like get it cut and fix then we actually need to fix your hair in the morning with the gel and stuff he said he'll let me but we'll see we also have like this massive heat wave coming i don't know if you have that too but it's supposed to be incredibly hot this whole week and i'm thinking excuse me no i have my fall hair now it's fall time but if it's not too bad we will walk up to the taco truck it comes almost every monday and it is our favorite thing ever and then other than that mason's in like this two hand touch football kick so he will likely want to play some of that tonight though yesterday i got a little too rough and i just like pushed him over i'm a little competitive he accidentally fell on his cleat that was sitting in the basement because it's a mess down there and it hurt pretty bad i felt awful but anyway that is our plan and i hope you have a fantastic monday